Hey guys, Techman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'll show you a couple ways to troubleshoot your iPhone if your iPhone vibration is not working or simply silent during calls or any sort of way that you normally get vibration on your iPhone. Now, this can happen for multiple reasons. It could be a setting issue, it could be actual software issue or a hardware issue, and we'll explain in each scenario what to do. So the first thing you want to do before we start the whole troubleshooting process is actually check if it's actually a hardware issue and if it's a motor related issue so built into your iPhone it's going to be a motor in there so the way to check if it's the motor isn't broken or damaged internally is to be checking it with the silent button that's on your left hand side so here we have iPhone uh, 12 Pro here simply we're going to toggle this on and off and when you do that you feel that when you silence it it will shake that means it's vibrating now if that doesn't vibrate automatically you can assume for about 95% of the time it's something wrong with the motor well now we know that motor works now let's figure out exactly what's the issue why we're not getting the phone to vibrate when we get call or something first thing you want to check is make sure your vibration is actually enabled to do that locate your settings and once you go into settings you want to basically go to find your sounds and haptic as you can see here We'll go to sounds and haptic right here, which is going to be just right here in this section. And in that sounds and haptic, you'll notice two main options that appear is vibration on ring and then vibration on silent. So what you want to do is if these are turned off like this, grayed out, you want to go ahead and turn these on. Essentially, vibrate on ring is if you're getting a call, it will make sure the phone also vibrates. Now silent is if you have it turned on off to silent here you still want vibration you want to turn that on if you don't you can turn it off but essentially these two settings are really important now the next setting comes in vibration as well but it's in a different place not sure why apple does that but it's in accessibility so we're in settings again we go accessibility we'll go to touch here and in the touch section we'll look for vibration here as you can see here when this switch is off, right, all vibration on your iPhone will be disabled, including those for earthquake, tsunami, and other emergency alerts. So you want to make sure this is turned on. For some reason, sometimes the option gets turned off when you do a software update and things like that, and it could potentially be bad for you. Now, the next thing we want to do is maybe the vibration is on, but there's a slightly different pattern to it that you don't want or the pattern that you selected maybe isn't working for some reason. Now we can check this by going back into Sounds and Haptic and this time when we click on ringtone, right, we want to see the vibration type. So in vibration you have a standard one and then there's a couple other ones that aren't default. So you want to go play around to see which one you like and this hopefully if the default one isn't working maybe one of these custom one work and if you want to go a little bit further you can actually create a custom one based on how you want the vibration by holding the screen and as you can see you can stop this and then you can actually play this and it's a custom vibration that you can set and this also really will test out your motor if this custom vibration isn't working most likely motor on the iPhone the vibration motor is broken and you'll have to get that replaced and to get that replaced you usually have to go to Apple store or authorized Apple retail store that does repair so we'll go ahead and cancel that and check out this menu now the next thing you want to do is you're gonna have to do with the actual software of your phone we did look at all the settings now it's time to look at some other software issue that could be the first thing you want to look down is to make sure that your phone is not on do not disturb again do not disturb stops all of these notifications and vibration that you normally would have and to check that you're going to pull down the control menu from the top by swiping down and then look at focus here click on focus here as you can see right now we have do not disturb off if it was like this where it's on we want to go ahead and turn it off so we're going to make sure that is turned off and any of the other ones as well because as you know if these are on or off it will have the potential to simply not give you that notice or that vibration that you were looking for now let's move on to the next thing we want to do it's going to be doing a force restart of your iPhone now a force restart is probably one of the more common troubleshooting steps that fixes pretty much almost all software minor issues that your phone might experience from the software itself to do a force restart 
on a new iPhone 8 and above, you're going to simply press and release the volume up button and then press and release the volume down button and then hold the side button on the right hand side. Again, we'll do it one more time to so volume up, volume down and quickly hold that side button. As you can see, if you don't do it quick enough, you'll get the Siri menu pop up. So you want to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then keep on holding that side button even when it goes black. You don't want to power to side up. You just hold on it till you see the Apple logo and then let go. And now we have done what's known as a force restart. Again, it clears up any cache, memory issues, software bug glitches that might have happened because the phone hasn't been restarted in a long time. And usually the best thing to do whenever you update the software and it's been a while the phone hasn't been uh, been turned off now the next thing we want to do is if it's still having an issue and you're still not getting any vibration it's going to be to update the software itself and that happens over time you know there's a bug or some issue with it and apple releases a fix for it through their software update to do that we're going to go into settings and go to general and then software update and then check for to see if there's an update. As you can see, there's a new update out. We'll just hit download and install. Make sure connect it to a good Wi-Fi and plug it into a charger so that it could charge. Be aware when you are doing a software update, it could take you between half an hour to an hour, depending on how big the update is, how well your connection is. So be prepared to wait if you're going to be updating the software. When you update the software, none of your data will be lost. It's just updating the iOS version that you have. Now, well, the next thing you want to do is, if it's still not working, is reset all settings here. So if you go into uh, general and then go all the way to transfer or reset, we want to do this first option. Do not click on the second one. That will delete all of your data, photos, videos. We want the first option. Click on the first one. And this time, we'll do reset all settings. What reset all setting does here, essentially, puts all the settings back to default on your phone. If your phone has some kind of custom setting, things like Wi-Fi connection will be lost, other things that you might set up. Now, this is a little bit more extreme, but it's necessary sometime to do that when things like vibration working or other issue that you're having. So you click on that, and then it will tell you that all of the settings will be erased. Again, no data or media will be deleted, so you can hit that. And then it will say, do you want to confirm? Because once you do that, you'll need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network, other custom settings. You might even have to reset your uh, wallpaper if you had a custom wallpaper, things like that. If you had custom settings, uh, layout, all of that will be erased. So don't do this if you don't want all of that to be gone and you'll have to set all of that up again. Again, no data will be lost. Now that it, well, it's doing that, this generally takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Other thing you want to do is if you have a case on, sometimes there are magnetic cases that can prevent the phone from actual vibrating. Go ahead and take the case off. Check that out as well, see if that's the issue. And lastly, if none of these steps are working, we're going to have to do what's known uh, as a factory reset of your iPhone, which will delete all of your data. But in order to do a factory reset, First thing you want to make sure is that you back up your phone either through iCloud or iTunes. And then once you do that, back it up. You can simply go into settings again. This time go to general and do transfer and reset. And this time you'll do this option. And because you have backed up to your iCloud or iTunes, this will allow you to restore from that backup and get all of your data back. Again, do not do this if you're not comfortable with it and don't understand what that means to back up your phone and restore it again. So you need to make sure you know that. Lastly, if none of these steps work and you're having an issue, again, as we mentioned, it most likely is a hardware issue with the vibrator and you'll need vibration sensor and you'll need to go ahead and contact Apple, take it to the Apple store, have them take a look at it and run some diagnostic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and one of these help you guys and if you guys found another way to fix the vibration on your iPhone not working, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.